Randy, thanks for sitting down with me today. I appreciate it. And thanks for the opportunity. Randy, you have been on the... We're here in, in glorious St. Louis and, and you with the IPSA, and you have been on the board of IPSA for five years now. Correct. Five years ago, you also started Pro Harvest Seeds. Correct. You're a busy guy. Has been. You're, has been <laughs> you're a ride. busy guy. What and why do you want to jump into this leading of uh, Independent Professional Seed Association for the next couple of years? You know, the, the seed industry has always been great to me uh, personally and also to our, our company, Pro Harbor, especially as we've been growing. Uh, see an awful lot of opportunities uh, within the organization of, of areas we can work together, uh, do some collaboration, uh, those types of things. And, and uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, networking that has really taken place. Um, and uh, kind of uh, grew up in a, in a family with a spirit of giving back to uh, who helps you, to your community. So uh, that's, that's part of why I uh, uh, am inspired to, to take on this role. Excellent. What kind of goals do you have set for yourself as you jump into this role? As far as uh, with IPSA, you know, it's uh, uh, the annual conference is always far and above. Uh, considered to be the uh, highlight of the uh, IPSA membership um, that continually ranks very highly on our list of uh, benefits to our members and uh, we continue to work on that every year to to make that better um, the uh, th that's definitely one of the goals and also just strengthen the the, the membership that we have and, and uh, uh, the opportunities that we have before us Independent seed companies play a huge role in the seed industry, don't they? We, we've seen lots of consolidation. We've seen multinationals reshuffling the deck chairs, so to speak. Uh, slight changes in direction, some major changes in direction, but lots of change. <laughs> lots of change, to, see the, to say the least. We know that big isn't always better. And, and I understand one of your personal mottos is better before bigger which I love, it's great. Can you tell me a little bit, what does that mean to you and, wh and why is that important as you're leading both an association and a seed company into this uh, ever-changing landscape? Well, where that phrase comes from is a story of uh, 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 Truett Cathy, who was the founder of uh, Chick-fil-A restaurants. And as the story goes, uh, back in the 90s, uh, they had a board meeting and uh, he was sitting there and all the VPs were discussing uh, uh, the rival was Boston Market Chicken at the time. And Boston Market had a goal of achieving a billion dollars in sales by the year 2000. And so there can, all the discussions were about how can we get bigger, how can we get bigger. And uh, finally uh, he starts pounding his fist on a table until everyone quiets down and he says we need to get better before we get bigger. If we get better, our customers will demand that we get bigger. And that changed the strategy uh, from that point forward. And this was taking place in the 90s. And actually, by the year 2000, Boston Market had filed bankruptcy. And Chick-fil-A had actually achieved a billion dollars in sales. So I think a lot of, uh, uh, for Pro Harvest as well as for IPSA, a, a lot of what we done need to do is, is to get better before we get bigger. The bigger will take care of itself. Um, you know, and being better can mean a lot of different things. It can just mean some of our policies and procedures that we have internally and so on and so forth as a company. There's, there's as you said, a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of positives about being an independent seed company right now. There's also, as is always the case, there's a flip side to every coin. What's the challenges? What do you see as some of the key challenges facing uh, the independent seed company right now? Well, you know, we have uh, obviously today the ag economy is is the big buzzword. Um, you know, the economy uh, coming off of a few years of a super high, now we're heading into a low. So we were probably too high for too long, so we could quite possibly be too low for, for too long. So uh, it, it'll equal itself out. Um, I think if we do a lot of things wisely and, and are there for our customers uh, and do what we need to do to help them to get through this time, I, I still feel there's a very bright future in agriculture. Um, also globally, you know, we have some issues too, just uh, in terms of, you know, there's multiple traits that uh, most of the corn and soybean companies would, would like to be uh, selling, but uh, without some, some approvals of some foreign countries, uh, we've got products sitting on a shelves that could be of a benefit, could be a value to our customers, and, and we can't... Uh, can't utilize those today. And, and it's not going to get any simpler, is it? It, it? It's just getting more and more complex, that global side of the business. Absolutely. It is. It really is. Um, 
just recently, IPSA hired a new communications director, Catherine Ballard. Yes. I've had an opportunity to chat with her. Sounds like we've got you've got a dynamic uh, person in place for that role. Communications is always key. We know this. We, we've, we've had it beat over our heads many times. Can you talk a little bit about the thinking of, of why now a communications director? And, and what, why was that so important to, to, to pull the trigger on that right now? Well, as you said, communications just uh, tends to be in our busy world. Uh, a lot of times it uh, uh, unfortunately gets, gets put by the wayside. Um, you know, we, we kind of felt that uh, there's a lot of things that uh, IPSA has done, is doing, um, some of these new program benefits, some of those types of things, as well as, you know, the board uh, sits down uh, on a pretty regular basis and has face-to-face -face meetings with some of the key industry suppliers, um, some large, some small, and, uh, you know, gives us an opportunity to kind of share our vision with them and, and for them to share their vision with us. Um, and a lot of those things, I don't think we get communicated what what happens out of those meetings. We don't necessarily get that communicated very well with our membership. So just more of awareness of, of what we are doing as an organization over and above the annual conference. Right, right. And, and the annual conference has continued to grow in stature, has continued to grow in importance for members, which is all great, but I think what I'm hearing is, what else? What are right. those other pieces? How do we the, share that information? Right. There's more to the uh, IPSO organization than the annual conference, right. and, and we are active 12 months of the year. Right. I know one of the things that IPSA is working on now is some new member offerings, some things to help their members, uh, health benefits, vehicle leasing, that type of a thing. Sure. Is that a key focus for the association on a go forward basis? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It really is. You know, a lot of those programs are, are uh, you know, there's some some benefits, uh, you know, be health care type benefits, uh, leasing benef uh, options programs, some of those types of things that, uh, you know, maybe. Uh, uh, Maybe we don't have the resources or maybe our companies don't have the size uh, by themselves to qualify for those programs or maybe they don't have the resources just to administer those programs and that's where we can step in and, and uh, help with some of those, provide a benefit again to our members. President of Pro Harvest Seeds, big job as we talked about. If you have to pluck out one thing that you've learned in these five years of, of running um, Pro Harvest, what would be the one thing that you would say is going to help you as you lead IPSA into this net for this next couple of years? I would say networking and communications. You know, okay. just as we were talking about, uh, uh, that's always been a big draw for the annual conference is the opportunity for, for everyone to network for uh, for a couple of days, uh, bounce some ideas off of each other, what's working for you, what's right. not working for, for me. I think the communication piece is, uh, you know, going forward, what is it that our members, uh, what do they need to help their, their businesses to, uh, to thrive, right. not only survive, but to thrive. Um, we see a lot of opportunities still out there today um, with all these challenges does open up the door for, for niche markets too. So, so what can we do as an organization to, to help those uh, situations uh, move forward? Nice. And communication really is a two-way street, isn't it? We've got Absolutely. to be listening as much or more than we're talking. Absolutely. And, and I think that's part of the reason that this annual meeting has become so critical is because we get to listen. We get to hear what's going on in the minds of our me of the members of IPSA. Um, can you tell me a little bit about Pro Harvest? I mean, I, I get to talk to you about your role at IPSA, but um, there's this other part of your world that actually gets to pay for everything. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about Pro Harvest? So Pro Harvest is a, a company that, as you said, we formed uh, uh, a little over five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Pro Harvest uh, is owned by myself, my brother Lynn, and another partner, Keith Knapp. Okay. And uh, we're based in Ashcombe, Illinois. Uh, East Central Illinois. Um, we currently are marketing uh, seed in uh, uh, six or seven states. Okay. Um, have some pretty aggressive growth goals, and, and uh, uh, you know, having a lot of fun growing, growing a business in a challenging time. So it's it's been a good run. Excellent. Well, at least you you, you got in at the, that high point that you talked about, and we did. that makes it a little easier to uh, to deal with some of these these uh, nipping at our heels a little bit. Absolutely, right absolutely. Awesome. Pleasure chatting with you, Randy. Thanks for taking. The Thank time. you, Sean.